Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be looking at a band that I am quite familiar with. I'm going to be looking at a band called Farmer Boys. Now I discovered this band several years ago, can't remember how long ago it was, um, and I actually discovered them through Apocalyptica. Now the band Farmer Boys, I've never actually looked too in depth into who the band are um but i've after hearing hope volume two by apocalyptica um the track itself had guest vocals by someone called matthias sayer <laughs> And I thought this guy had an amazing voice, so I looked him up, and it turned out he was the singer for Farmer Boys. So I looked up some of their music, and I instantly became a fan. I really enjoy their music. Now, when I say that, I've got two of their albums, uh, an album called The World Is Ours, and an album called The Other Side. And... I mean, I really enjoyed their music, but I never sort of became a rabid sort of fan of it, and I, I never really sort of looked too in-depth into them, so I didn't actually realise that in 2018 they released another album, because it was... I mean, The World Is Ours was released in 2000, and The Other Side was released in 2004, so there was a big 14-year gap between the last album of theirs that I got and their most recent one. And... I don't know, I just never really sort of investigated further after The World Is Ours. Or The Other Side, should I say. But, you know, both of those albums are very, very good. Now, they do have two albums that precede those that I didn't know about either, because, like I say, I never really actually looked too in-depth at the band. I just found the two albums that I found and thought I'll have those, because I enjoy their music. So, having said that, I never actually did any research on the band in the past, so I decided to do that today. And it turns out the Farmer Boys is a German metal band. I had no idea that they were German. Uh, they're a German metal band from Stuttgart. Uh, and they reached their peak of popularity with their album, The World Is Ours, uh, released in 2000. Uh, the video sing singles Here Comes the Pain, which is an absolutely brilliant track. Uh, and If You Ever Leave Me Standing were put into heavy rotation by German alternative music channels such as Viva Zwei. Uh, Farmer Boys has contained a cult following over the years. Their musical style is a blend of machine heads, groove metal and paradise lost gothic metal. I'm not sure I agree with that. Uh, possibly Machine Head's Groove, yes. Paradise Lost Gothic Metal, not so much. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Although saying that, The World Is Ours is quite a different album from The Other Side. There is quite a, quite a difference between the two. But anyway, the lyrical matter usually revolves around the darker side of agriculture, which is really bizarre. But when you actually listen to the music, it works really, really well. Um, you know, it has themes such as bestiality and incest, like in the track Farm Sweet Farm, uh, the torture of animals when a chicken cries for love, uh, suicide relieve the tension, and slaughterhouses when pigs fly. Uh, as previously mentioned, he also provided the guest vocals for Apocalypticus uh, single uh, Hope Volume 2, which I think is on the cult album but it's the first time i heard matthias sound like i say i love i loved the sound of his voice so much i had to look him up to find out who he was and i found this band and you know um the world is ours actually became one of my favorite albums to listen to for a very very long time it it's a really really good album if you've never heard of it before i highly suggest checking it out because it is very very good um uh, four years after the release of The Other Side, which was, like I said, the last album I got, uh, the band... Re they did. 
the band performed a reunion concert in Stuttgart on the 22nd of December. Aside from their appearance in the 2011 Summer Breeze Open Air on the 20th of August, uh, the band remained relatively silent and inactive. At the end of 2016, guitarist Alexander Schlopp announced the return of the band with three shows scheduled in Germany for the spring of 2017, as well as announcing the band's plan for a new album, the album named Born Again, which was released in 2018. And it is a track off that album that I'm going to be looking at today, because, you know, whilst I've heard of the band, I've not heard this album. Um, and I'm going to be looking at a track called You and Me. Um, I've no idea what this track is going to be like, but like I said, I've, I really enjoyed the, um, the world is ours. Um, uh, yeah, that's what it's called. That's, yeah, the world is ours it is a great album. And the other side, like I said, another very good album, quite different from the world is ours, but still very, very good. And as I mentioned, I really like Matthias Sayer's voice. I think he has got an amazing voice. So this is kind of something new for me you know like i say i've heard the band before but i've not heard this album so i don't know if it's going to be different because you know a 14 year gap between the last album and theirs that i heard so um yeah we're going to jump into this and see what we've got so you and me by farmer boys let's have a look Bring 
Well, um, there you go. That was you and me by Farmer Boys. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, like I said, the, the World is Ours was very easily one of my favourite albums after I discovered who this band were. And, you know, I listened to it a lot. You know, I, I still listen to it now. You know, back when I discovered it, I can't remember when it was that I found found out about the band i can't remember when it was but it was a long time ago you know the world is ours was a fantastic album you know and like i said there was something about matthias sayer's voice which was just amazing now he still has a good voice but in this track i don't know whether this applies to the rest of the album that this belongs to in this track he's actually singing in a higher pitch than he used to in in the world is ours and i believe the other side his voice was slightly low and it had a little bit more grit to it here it's a f you know a fair bit higher pitched and it's a lot smoother uh, there are still elements to his voice that you you know you know it's definitely the same guy you can tell especially towards the end when he was doing that um quiet bit no oh, i say quiet but you know that bit towards right at the very end you know is definitely you know, you could definitely tell it was the same singer. There were certain elements to his voice, the way he does vibrato and stuff like that. You can tell it's definitely him. But, yeah. Musically, you can you can sort of tell that it's the same band. You know, you sort of go, oh, yeah, that kind of sounds like the Farmer Boys. But, I don't know. It's, it's not as good as I hoped it was going to be. Because, um, like, like I said... The, the World Is Ours is a fantastic album, and I highly recommend you checking it out if you if you haven't heard of it before. Um, but like I said, this is the only track off the new album that I've heard. This might be an outlier for all I know. There is a, I think there's another track or two on their YouTube channel from this album that I need to go and have a look at and, you know, see if they're... This, you know, if this is an outlier, if they're as good as they were. Um, but, I mean, that being said, it was still a decent track, you know. Musically, it sounded good. Matthias Vosaya still has a very, very good voice. Um, I, I, I just, I don't know, I feel like he was holding back. Because, you know, in the previous albums that I've heard, he had a bit more sort of grit in his voice. And, like I say here, it's a... It's a lot smoother. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as for the actual meaning of the track, I do have lyrics here. Uh, they come off songlyrics.com. They seem to be entirely accurate. And this it, this sort of seems to be... Uh, this song isn't agricult uh, agriculturally based. But it seems to be, it's you and me against the world until the end of time. That's what it seems to be. I mean, right at the end of the video, you saw that couple standing there on the precipice, staring at what could easily be interpreted as an Armageddon event. Um, that's what it seems to be, you know, and it's like you and me against the world, basically. That's what it seems to be. Because it goes, I found a way to make you shine a sacred place where we belong i can see it in your eyes that our time has come you know i would do anything to bring the sun back up again you and me against them all this is how it ends so at the beginning of this track it kind of sounds like maybe some sort of failing relationship and he wants to sort of reignite it he wants to make them as great as they used to be together possibly you know i found a place to make you shine where we belong I can see it in our eyes, our time has come, you know, and, you know, I would do anything to bring the sun back up again. You know, that could be, you know, to spark new life into our relationship, or it could be, you know, the sun is setting on our time on this planet, you know, we're coming towards the end of our lives, or, you know, I would do anything to bring the sun back up again, you know, I, I, I'd do anything to relive that life that we had, uh, possibly. Um, but it says it's you and me against them all this is how it ends so I mean that pretty much says itself uh, we're, we're never giving up giving in that's how we bring the system down 
you and me carry on till all the kingdoms fall. So again, this is like, you know, you and me against the world, you know. That's how we bring the system down. You know, you and me will carry on until all the kingdoms fall, you know. We we'll carry on until the very end, until there's nothing left. It's going to be you and me forever. Um, they, they may take our lives away, but we are not afraid to die, because our freedom will remain on their lies. Let's set it all on fire, because we're the fuels that soaks the ground. Our flames are burning high away, they eat their heads and crowns. Bit of a strange way to word that. Um, so, I mean, this could even just be, you know, it's you and me against the world, because the system itself is quiet because you know the system is is flawed the system is you know corrupted you know i've mentioned this in millions of videos before you know the way governments rule their countries is just so fucked up you know and they will do anything to make your life as difficult as possible so long as they can get their cut of the money so they can live high above us all and look down on us um you know, it says they may take our lives away, but we're not afraid to die because our freedom will remain on their lies. So, you know, they can they can try as hard as they can to try and take our freedom away. They can try as hard as they can to make us into slaves and what have you. But at the end of the day, we know the truth. You know, our freedom will remain on their lies. Everybody will see them for who they really are and we're going to defy them. So we're going to remain free. We, you know, we're we're not going to conform to their bullshit, sort of thing. Possibly, you know, I could be way off base here. And here, let's set it all on fire because we're the fuel that soaks their ground. You know, let let's just destroy everything. You know, th these people. You know, because we're the fuel that soaks their ground. They they rely on us. You know, they treat us like absolute garbage, but they rely on us. And if we burn the whole damn thing, there's not one damn thing they can do about it because without us, they're powerless, essentially. Um, our, our flames are burning high away. They eat their heads and crowns, you know, because, you know, they're, they're completely useless. They're completely impotent without you, you know. Without us, they have no power. They're just a normal person with nothing. Um, and then it goes back into that cross. We're never giving up, giving in. That's how we to bring the system down. You and me, carry on. Never giving up and all the kingdoms fall. Carry on and on to kingdoms fall. So again, you know, it's you and me against the world until the very, very end. And it goes, you and me could save, release. The stars will shine, they fall our lives, you and me, we bring the system down. So there you go. So like I say, it seems to be a sort of you and me against the world, you know, the world is a horrible, cruel, corrupt place, but we're not going to conform to that, we're going to fight against that, you know, it's, we're going to live our own lives, we're going to be free, we're not going to be oppressed, we're not, you know. And th these are actually themes that they've covered in the world is ours as well um you know sort of not letting these one percenters who sit in their ivory towers staring down their nose at you sort of dictate how you live your life saying you can and cannot do this that or the other because we say so you know these people, you know, he's turning around and saying, you know, fuck you, I'm going to live how I want to live, my partner's going to live how we want to live, we're not going to conform to your rules, you know, even if we have to fight you and destroy everything that you've made us work hard to give you, because you can't exactly say these 1%ers have worked hard, you know, they've probably never worked a day in their fucking life, you know, so he's saying, you know what, I'm not part of it anymore, you know, it's just you, me, against the world, let's do it you know and i like that well, you know it's a good message it's it's solidarity and it also shows a sort of relationship between the two people you know it's like a lasting bond between the two and i like it you know and i like the song like I say, i'm a bit disappointed because it's not up to the standard that i'm used to from the previous two albums of theirs that i've heard they i mean this is their fifth album and i've only heard two of them um, so I, I don't know what their first two albums sound like at all. I'm going to have to try and 
find those because I didn't even know they had two previous albums until I looked them up today. You know, because like like I said, I enjoyed their music when I first heard it, and I bought you know I bought the two albums that I found, but I never really sort of investigated further. I just w- enjoyed and was contented with the albums that I had. Um, but yeah, I, I I like it. I'm I just wish there'd been a sort of bit more oomph to it. And like I said, this could be an outlier off the album. This could be an odd song out you know it might be sung in that specific way because of the you know sort of almost loving caring nature of the song it's sort of like you and me against the world you know we are partners forever until the end of time you know it might be sung that way because of the theme of the song i don't know uh i'm gonna have to look at um the rest of the album because I'm, I'm very curious um but yeah, if you get a chance to check out the album The World Is Ours, I highly recommend it because it is an outstanding album. It's got some amazing tracks on it, uh, especially the track Here Comes the Pain. It's a fantastic track. Well, I mean, the whole album is just great. Um, there, there are some sort of funny bits on it as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know really what else I can say about that, so I'll leave that as it is. Uh, now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and maybe even subscribe if you're not already, because it really would help me out. Uh, I mean, at, at present, as it stands, only about 9.5% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. And, you know, as a, as a result of this, as a result of people not being subscribed and people not liking my videos, my videos are sort of getting lost in the algorithm, you know, they're not getting recommended to people, you know, and, you know, it's quite disheartening because I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos, you know, and I really enjoy listening to music and I like to, you know, I hope to be able to introduce people to maybe some music they've not heard before, you know, they might not have heard of a certain band, you know, but if my videos sort of just disappear off into the ether, people aren't going to be able to do that. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't cost you anything. It only takes a fraction of a second. And, you know, and it really does help the channel out. But, uh, yeah. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.